Yo, what's up? My name is Gregory McFarlane, and I take Fujiao Pie, Tiger Claw Kung Fu. I'm gonna show you my class real quick, because a lot of people, I don't know if they really know what martial arts is. But to me, it's an art. Just like some people could draw, I take martial arts. I want to be in movies and stuff, so I come here to practice at least two to three times a week, because shit just don't happen overnight. Everyone always watches the movies, want to be nice, like Bruce and Jackie Chan. They don't know what they have to do to achieve it. Let me show you right now. I take you to world. So I'm never being to be to In the mid-19th century, Wong Bill Hong was already a master of the Honggar Kung Fu system, when one day he was challenged to a duel by another Kung Fu master. While battling in the courtyard of Hoi Hong Temple, they were separated by an old monk. So overwhelmed by the superior Kung Fu skills of this monk, Wong Bill Hong and his adversary accepted the invitation to discuss their differences. After mediating their disagreement, the monk accepted them as disciples and taught them Hark Fu Moon, the Black Tiger Kung Fu. For many years, Wong Bill Hong protected the knowledge of Black Tiger Kung Fu and only took on two disciples. One of them was his nephew, Wong Moon Toy. When the late Grand Master Wong Moon Toy died in 1960, he left seven disciples, one of which he named successor Grand Master Wai Hong. For the past 40 years, Grand Master Wai Hong, the third generation successor of Fu Jiao Pai, has dedicated himself to the preservation and promotion of the Chinese martial arts. He is the founder of the Fu Jiao Pai Federation and the Eastern United States Kung Fu Federation and a leader in the martial arts the community. Fair and trust, the The Kung Fu workout consists of various exercises involving strength, training, aerobic, stretching, and self-defense. The student is trained to kick and punch effectively and is given an opportunity to practice sparring and self-defense techniques in a supervised setting. Forms are an integral part of the ancient Ch Kung Fu system. They are designed to provide a basic foundation for the moves of the system. As the student develops, he or she is trained in forms involving a higher level of difficulty.
A lot of people complain that Kung Fu is a weak style. That's why they don't want to learn it. They'd rather take like, karate or something. Well, if you think it's weak, maybe you should do something about it. That's why after class, I always come up here for extra workout. Make sure my arms are nice and strong for hitting the punching bag. I'll show you a couple of training methods you could do to strengthen your Kung Fu. After you lift the weights, this is what we call iron pound training. You know, someone throws a punch at you, you want to grab his arm. You want to break that shit. You can't break it if you're not training. That's why you hit this every day. It's usually ball bearings in a bag, but you get a nice horse stance. Come up, drop the elbow, bam. So you break those. Then once you're strong enough to do that, imagine what you could do to a bone. You break a brick. Come down around someone's collarbone, punch. Wow. It's a wrap. Broke a collarbone. Do both hands about 10 times each time you go to class. You can do more if you want to, but you shouldn't do it too many times because it's not good for your hands. It's good for your hands if you want to beat people up, but health-wise, it's not really. Like, I could do this, it won't hurt, but then again, who knows what the hell's happening with my hand. This, you should practice your tiger. You usually want to get in a horse stance to practice your legs too, because you don't want to let your legs do anything. Get a nice horse stance to practice grabbing. So when you strike someone with a tiger claw, if you hit them and you don't grab them, they'll fly away. You know what I'm saying? That's why you want to practice clawing using your fingers so it doesn't move when you hit it. You want to really grab hold of that meat. Strength your fingers. Also for knuckles, because it's ball bearings. And if you think I can do it and it doesn't hurt, you try to do it. Because this is pretty painful. I'm just used to it because I've been coming here for five years. Strengthen your knuckles so you have no feeling in your knuckles. And after you do that, you might want to hit the punching bag. I just like to start off with straight jabs. Followed by hooks. Followed by my grippers. You always want to put your body behind it. Get the strength. Get your forms. Get your shits on point. Those are ratchet kicks. Sifu Shu Yu Quan was born in China and has studied martial arts since he was a child. He started his kung fu training at the age of 14, then began studying Aikido under a disciple of the Aikido founder, Morihai Yushiba. In 1968, Sifu Kwan came to the United States where he continued his martial arts training in Judo and Taekwondo. In 1976, he enrolled in the Fujiao Pai Federation in New York's Chinatown as a student of Grandmaster Wai Hong. For someone like me, with no martial arts experience, not the most strength, <laughs> what would be something that you could teach me to give me a basic idea of what Fu Jiao Pai or martial arts Kung Fu is all about? Well, I couldn't say that if you're too weak, it's hard to fight. So our whole beginning of the class is more called basic exercise to strengthen up your, your, your body, you know, your leg. And that's why we do horse stands, do, to push up. Just training your body to right. be conditioned. So it's not, it cannot be too weak. Right. Uh, but if, if, you, if you were to show me something, mm -hmm. what could be something simple that, that would show me what Kung Fu is about? Like, you saying, saying that it's not necessarily all about strength. Yes, it is about training. Right. But it's not necessarily all about strength. What is something that you could show somebody that has no experience well, I can show you some technique that, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Can I say something? Teach how to use your body instead of using your, your, your strength all the time. Right. For instance, even though my, my sister keeps saying that the, 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 the technique should be an athlete's mm -hmm. So you don't have to be strong. Right. right? For instance, if I might put your hand like this, right? You should put your hand up like this. When you relax what you do, 
you drop, right? Right. So put your hand up. If I punch you or you drop your hand, lose. I do. Okay. You feel the weight itself? You feel the weight? Yes. You didn't hit me. No. That's gravity pulling me. That's right. Just natural. Right. So <laughs> when I punch you, you go like this, you just... The more relaxed. It's a more tight. relaxed. Okay. Wow. <laughs> it's, it's just it's going, hard. It's hard it's, to... Right. To, to think, it? not strength, just... Right. And you lose. It's a body weight. It's like this. Uh -huh. So if I punch you, I can feel you hitting me now. Right. You can, you can feel it. You didn't use no, it. No, I didn't. Strength. It didn't hurt. <laughs> it just dropped. So that's what it is. For instance, they go, you punch me with your form. That's why we practice on so much in form. Mm -hmm. Just to give you a body called, like, boxer, they call shadow boxing. Right. But form is more like a create uh, a fighting movement. So what's something else that you could show me? Well, for instance, people push you like this, most of people will just fight back. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. So when you push me, a lot of people react to this. Right? Right. So, oh, I'm stronger than you. Right. So if you push me, I move my body, <laughs> let it go. Right? I'm afraid you need to touch you. <laughs> right. So if you go to uh, um, a lot of people, they start with a fight, just hit you like this hard and see what you do. Right. So maybe the first time you come in, and you just turn your body and move away. So you don't really use any strength for it. But in reality, a lot of people, the reaction is like, push it back. Right. Then you get hurt more. Right. Oh, right, because the force. Right, but they just force like, your force. It's, it's subconsciously, it's like, this is my territory. You can't come in, so I'll fight back. Right. But you should let them go. You know, so <laughs> things like that. Right. Uh, for instance, the people, push you like this, if, you know, one hand push you like this, you move. So in, if you say that, well, I really don't want to be hit. Right. And a lot of people, the first instinct, if they hit them, they will try to block it, mm -hmm. right? So, or go like this. Right, trying right, to protect yourself. yourself. Well, punching you, you, you block, a lot of people do block and push. All you do is say, in your mindset, stay away from me. Right. So when you push me, in your mind, stay away from me. <laughs> I can then you me. walk right into my head. Right, right, right. So you will try to push me. Mm -hmm. Once I move away, just stay away from me. <laughs> yeah, so in your hands, if people attack you, just stay away from me. Put your hand up. Let that be the reflex. Yeah, because if your hand is the same length of my do, we have a chance to even up. Uh huh. You know, unless I know that your hand is um, long, longer than me. Then maybe you might like to stay away from Right, right, right. Also, now it's interesting that people try to grab you, right? Grab. You have to step up to grab me, right? I, I'm sorry. How <laughs> far you even got there? <laughs> I break your leg. <laughs> right. I just go like this. Boom. Right. Like right in the knee. And you don't see it. Right. <laughs> so those are things like that. So That's really... You learn about using, you know, your body to do it. Right. How do you often take the, on the street that try to grab me, hold my shoulder, right? If you someone know? were to grab me? Yeah, suppose you, you try to attack me, what are you going to do? Do you try to pull me, right? I'd probably go, go like, like this. that, yeah. You see, on the street, it's very wide open. I would not do this to you. Mm -hmm. Why? Grab me. You push into me? No. You, you try to grab me, right? Right. You're not pushing me away. Uh -huh. You try to grab me, right? Like this. So this, you just go from here, go boom. Oh. <laughs> right on the chest. That hurts a lot, chest? Oh, yeah. More than like... Well, because this, different. we don't want to go into the teeth. Mm. <laughs> here. Yeah? Hurt like that. Or, do it again. From here, you see this? What am I gonna do? <laughs> no, because I do this. Ah, <laughs> let's do that. Let's do that. Grab, I'm grab you. Go like this. <laughs> you don't see. It's so simple. It's so simple. You just turn your body. Right. It, they don't expect you. If I grab you like this, right? Right. I, I have no way to hold your hand mm -hmm. because also you just twist, come right up, or you go like this to the throat. What would I? Like this. You do the same thing. Oh yeah. If you go to the throat. Yeah, you go. Look like this. Oh, oh, me go to the floor. Yeah. Oh, okay. You go to the okay. Floor. 
So he just turned. What if, what if someone was to grab someone from behind, like, like from behind? What, what yeah, would you I suggest? Yeah, I mean, in the movie, it, 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 you can't go out. But you can't. You can't. Can, you can't. But in reality, yes. Yeah, you can't okay. get out of it. Chuck? So if I grab you, no, or really. should you should do like this, like okay. this. Right, you can do like this. Right. What would you do? I have to go like this. Look for a thumb. Look for a thumb. Yeah, and pull. <laughs> <laughs> or if I do one of this, let's go like this. See some more. Pull this way. Like right. Spell it, right. and then <laughs> that's yeah. another way. Right. There's many ways to do it. Yeah. You can. If the guy, you just move back and chop under <laughs> the gone area like this. Right. Yeah. But nobody really do this. No. No. If the people grab you from a like headlock, right. I'm in the worst position. Why? Well, you headlock. This way. Right like this. Right? This way. See, my head is down here. I can grab the groin. Grab the groin. <laughs> everything. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, a lot of situations that uh, people don't think about it. Right. You know, just like, oh, you panic. What what to do? You know. But that's what it is. You held him like this. You open. Or you can look for his face. No, I think that's really important. Yeah. I think it's really important for people to know simple things that you can do yeah. to get out of situations. Well, the Self, simple thing, people grab your hand. I don't think many people, they pull you like this, right? Right. So they grab you and pull you like this. If you pull me like this, the simple form, the simple, easy form is go for the thumb because your hand is much bigger than the thumb. Right. Squeeze real hard, doesn't matter because I go like this, we'll come right up. <laughs> I have no grip. You know, right? I have no so grip. on the street, you just go like this, go I have no hit, grip. Right. hit, and then I still have to put your hand up. I break your arm this way. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and that takes, it's like almost effortless. Right, you just that. go through the thumb. It's a, lot, right. yeah. a lot of people, you know, that's why it's, it, it's good to for, for you, for everybody. You, you learn to defend yourself for help, you know. Right. But not for, you know, for fighting. Fighting. Right. Then you defeat the whole person. Right. That's, yeah. That's I think the most common thing is a haymaker. People nowadays, they fight, they go like, they go, rrr, 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 and they go like that. That's how they fight. Yeah. So, so how would I deal with that? that? Oh, that's easy. Because if you're weak, you can't So really if someone's fight. coming at you like that, what would you do? What would you do? What would you do? Someone's like really hard, someone's yeah, gonna actually like <laughs> But what if you're not fast enough to get before, the, you're saying because this is going around, it's slower well, than it's you Well, still, you come in, up. right? You come in. <laughs> right, so put okay. Put your hands up, really easy, just stay away from me. That's the first thing you do. Keep the distance. Right. Yeah. So you go like this. Mm. Or do it again. Boom. <laughs> Just turn your way. Turn yeah. Around. No, move away. Yeah, put your hands up, move away. You can you can do a lot of things, but it's just not. The, the one other technique we do is you hook in like this, go like this, and come under. Stuck really fast. Yeah. Well, yes. But then actually, that's why when you're training martial art, Building reflexes. And Building the reflexes, you can have some kind of strength. Right. If the if the little kids can you be the fight with you, <laughs> you just overpower you. Yeah. Really? Oh yeah. No. <laughs> if I'm a fight with a little kid, they cannot do much. Right. So because you know you have strength, they don't have. So you have to look for weakness of you know the person. So you don't strike. You don't hit the arm. You don't have to. You know. The body, the stomach, no. You look for vital areas. Right. Um, how say I say? Yeah, for your nose, your eye, your throat. It feels more painful. Right. Yeah. Okay. You like to tackle too. That's what they do. Tackle. You, you oh, you're like this? Oh, like that's the like worst. To, to scoop your legs. Yeah. yeah, that's definitely. That's another street thing. You just swoop me, right? Try to swoop me, I go boom. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. You go right thing. into your face. Right. Yeah, uh, you walk right into it. So that's why, you know, in the attacking, if I want to do this, I will not do this. You're, you're putting yourself in danger to go like that. Right. 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 It, a lot of people do. 
Right, right. In 1994, Sifu Kwan was elected the vice president of the Eastern United States Kung Fu Federation. In addition to traditional classes, Sifu Kwan teaches Chinese lion dancing. His lion dance team has performed on cable TV and in many cultural events. In 1992, he performed the lion dance for New York's Mayor Dinkins in Gracie Mansion. Since 1983, Sifu Kwan has taught traditional Fu Jiao Pai Kung Fu to interested students and has trained many tournament champions. Lion dance is a traditional heart of the Kung Fu school. The dance steps imitate the movements of the lion and many of the same moves are used in the martial arts forms. The school's lion dance team performs at Chinese holiday events as well as social gatherings. Iron Palm Training develops the student's concentration, focus, and strength. After sufficient preparation, the student is able to break one or two bricks with the strike of the hand.